Hey there, welcome back to the homestead. So, got a little project here to do today. Before we get started though, I got a question to ask you. What's, uh, what's about a foot long and really stinky? A foot! <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's bad. Okay, so, a beautiful day down here in Florida. The sun is shining, but it is not scorching hot. We got a little breeze going, so we're gonna get a little project done. Um, I showed you I showed you that we had the bananas coming up on the banana tree now and if you know anything about banana trees these are not real strong rooting plants so the weight of those bananas could actually have the risk of toppling the tree over and so we're gonna root uh, we're going to um, brace it up today so that that's not a risk for us we don't want to lose our first set of bananas so I'll show you how we do that it's just gonna be a quick project here we go Okay, a little bit of an awkward spot to film in here, I know, uh, but essentially all I've done is just taken some scrap lumber, drilled some holes in it, threaded some rope through it, and we want to brace it from two different angles. That's why I've done it this way, so that we can have it angled like so on the tree, uh, so we can come off from two sides, because obviously it could lean this way, or it could lean that way, and uh, or it could lean this way. A brace from each, from two angles will stop any of that kind of movement. It's not going to go the other way. All right, let's put them on. Okay, so you can see what I've done here with these little blocks. They're, they're kind of at an angle, wrapping around the tree a little bit. That will allow us to get the, the braces to come in and come from two different directions. And if, if you're wondering why I'm putting these brace, these blocks here rather than just leaning the 2x4 up against the tree, it's because <clears throat> these banana trees are such soft material. We want to distribute the, the, the pressure so that it doesn't damage the tree. And so... Our 2x4 is just going to lean up here like this. We'll screw it in so that this doesn't move around. <clears throat> and then uh, we'll uh, um, put a stake in the ground to hold the, at the ground side. Okay, before we can screw the 2x4 in, we need to cut a little bit of an angle on it to, uh, to match the angle of the tree and the 2x4 as it comes off of there. So I'll do that and I'll come right back. Now I'm gonna hold from the behind, back side of this tree because this tree is not very strong. If I push against it, it's just gonna loosen those roots up even more. Okay, so I have double staked this, and uh, one at the end, one on the side, screwed in. The only reason for doing that is because we have about a 180 pound uh, dog who's a real doofus running around here, and uh, well, he likes to run through the garden and kick things. <laughs> so, we don't want this going anywhere. Okay, tree is good and braced up. Now I have no concerns that the weight of the bananas or any Wind that comes through is going to give us any trouble, and we are not at risk of losing our bananas. And that's it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. Bye bye. 